Hey Notion, are you smarter than ChatGPT? Notion AI is considered superior to ChatGPT according to one source. Today isn't a good day for a lot of AI tools out there, but it's a great day if you're a Notion user. Because Notion just added a feature that will make a lot of AI startups pretty useless. The feature I'm talking about is called Q and A. Basically, Notion just started indexing your complete workspace, so now you have a built-in chatbot that is trained on your Notion data. That's as if ChatGPT was aware of all the context that you have in Notion. In fact, even in Notion, you and I were building an AI-powered chatbot for Notion for a while. And right now, I'm pretty glad we didn't raise any VC money. How does it work? Well, it's super simple. Q&I has been embedded into Notion Search. So you can either just click in your sidebar or you can press Command P if you're on a Mac or Control P if you're on Windows. Then the first option here is now Ask Notion AI pretty much anything. You can click there and then just type in your question and start chatting with Notion AI just the same way that you are used to chat with ChatGPT. Notion AI will then search the entire workspace to resurface the correct answer. And it will also link you to the different pages that it found that are relevant to, you know, get that information. Oh, and don't worry in case you're in a team space with several people, Notion AI will only search for the documents that you have personally access to. So there's no risk in accidentally leaking sensitive information to someone who's not supposed to have it. Here are some of my favorite use cases. First, quickly find any information, even if you forgot where you saved it. So Notion AI, what is our refund and return policy? Hmm. Okay, so now I know within the last 30 days, if the item is unused, I can send it back without ever having to opening the document. And for more information, Notion AI also linked to the uh, page, so I can just jump in there and actually figure out more details if I need to. Second, get a step-by-step -step process without ever leaving search. For this more complex query, let's ask it to help me figure out the process for creating our OKRs. And then I also want it to give me a list of uh, the different steps. So I don't want to go to the document, but I want to see here a uh, result. Okay, so we get a list, annual strategy review, department brainstorming, define clear objectives, and so on and so on. Now, in this case, they are all within the same page, so it always links to the same page. But in case it would, you know, combine information from several documents, it will also, for every step, link to the respective document. Number three, get quick answers on the go. Soon, Notion AI will also work the same way on mobile, so then it's just super simple to pull up your phone and ask anything about your whole knowledge base in Notion. So let's say, for example, I've forgotten how to get inside a building. Maybe I traveled to a different work location today. So I want to know, well, how can I get into the Notion Mark offices? And hopefully it will help me find the answer. So let's say, okay, I need an access card and I should have received it my first day. And the parking area is located at the rear of the main building. Well, that's good to know. In particular for companies and teams, this is a real game changer. For example, use case number four. Your new hires will have tons of questions. And even if you design the perfect onboarding flow in Notion, chances are there are still some things that were not covered. But now instead of having to, you know, go to someone and ask that question or just awkwardly sit with that and never ever figure out how things work, well, they can just ask Notion AI and we'll give them the answer. Maybe the onboarding docs forgot to mention what I should wear. So what is actually the dress code at Notion My Company? And as long as we have it somewhere in our Notion workspace, it can tell me that it's casual and Fridays are Notion Mark themed days where you can wear your favorite Notion Mark inspired attire. Well, again, really good to know. This feature can also free up hours of productivity because with use case number five, five, what you can do is you can ask Notion AI to get you a summary or a report of the status on a current project. So instead of how it usually is, right, the manager needs to know something, so they go to the direct reports and the direct reports need to drop whatever they're doing right now and type up that report. You can just skip that part, ask Notion AI, and everyone can keep doing their work. But also for individuals, this is great news. Just imagine how cool it would be if you had, you know, all your knowledge in Notion. For example, if you're a Zettelkasten fan and you've been typing hundreds and thousands of notes over the years, and now you can chat with them, right? You no longer need to rely on your own memory to remember, okay, this is where that information was, and I actually have that information. Instead, you can just ask Notion AI a question and see what it comes up with based on all the collective information that you collected. To get Q&A, this latest Notion AI feature, check out the link in the description. With this update, Notion AI just jumped from nice to have to shut up and take my money, particularly if you use Notion as a knowledge base. And once you make a jump, you should really try to maximize your investment. 
So next up, here are 14 real-life AI use cases for the other Notion AI features that you want to implement today once you upgrade. Check this out.